Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm gonna to teach you about how to set up templates in SolidWorks. Now, I'm gonna focus specifically on how to set up templates for the Too Tall Toby speed modeling challenges, but hopefully you'll be able to use this in your own day-to-day -day workflows. Ow! So here we are in SolidWorks, and I'm gonna start out by clicking New. Now, in this interface, you'll notice that there's a button down here that will either say Novice or Advanced. And when we toggle between that button, we see this view, which is more of the Novice view. This is kind of where you start when you first install SolidWorks and the advanced view. And in the advanced view, we've got these different tabs here. You might have just one tab or two or three or maybe even more. Well, each of these tabs represents a folder that SolidWorks is pointing to in the system options. So if we go up here to the top of the screen and we click on this gear for system options, we can see that there's a section called file locations in our system options. And up at the top here where it says show folders for, well, each item in this list is gonna represent a library that you can access and point to in SolidWorks. So for example, right now we're looking at the folders for document templates, but you can see here that there's a lot of different types of libraries we can point to. Like we can point to a materials database, we can point to a sheet metal gauge table location, and each one of these locations is gonna be a folder in Windows. So for example, if I choose sheet metal gauge tables, well, this is the directory here where SolidWorks is looking to find my library of sheet metal gauge tables. And if I wanted to point to an additional folder, I could use the add button here. Well, similarly, when we look at our document templates, we can see that the document templates is pointing to a folder called templates and it's pointing to a folder called tutorial. And if I choose the new command, I can see that I've got a tab here called templates. I've got a tab here called tutorial. And then I also have a third tab because this is probably a subfolder in one of these folders here. So that's the way the advanced interface works when it comes to working with templates. Now, what I like to do is I like to start out by going into Windows Explorer and creating a new directory right in my C drive called 00 Toby's Templates. This makes it very easy for me to find this folder and to point to this folder when I need it in SolidWorks. So now that I've got that folder created, I'm gonna go into SolidWorks and I'm gonna choose new, and I'll just choose any one of these templates. I'll just go to the tab that says templates and choose to create a new part. Now that I've got this new part created, I'm gonna go up to my options and I'm gonna to go to the tab that says document properties. And this is where I can change the settings for my template. So anything that's on this tab here is gonna get saved when you, when you choose to do a save as and save this as a template. The document properties tab will have everything that'll save in there. So here's the things that I'm gonna change for today's tutorial. I'm gonna click drafting standard. And I'm gonna change this to ANSI. I'm gonna go down to my units and I'm gonna change my units here to uh, MMGS. I'm gonna set my unit precision here to two. This all looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go to my image quality and I like to drag the image quality to about here. You don't wanna go too far over on this side because you'll actually start increasing the size of your files and that's no good. But you also don't wanna to be too far over on this side because then everything's gonna kinda of look like a polygon and you probably don't want that either. So I think about two thirds of the way through here is a good spot to set your image quality resolution. And now that we've got those settings adjusted, the only thing left to do is to adjust anything else that we want to adjust in the tree or in the view settings. Like for example, right now the origin is not showing. Well, I like it when the origin is showing in my parts. So I'm gonna go into this little eyeball here for my view settings and turn on the origin. Anything that we show or hide here is gonna be saved into the template. And finally, anything that we do over here in the feature tree is gonna be saved into the template. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is assign a material to my document template. So I'm gonna go over here to material, I'm gonna do a right mouse button, and I'm gonna say, I want this to be made out of, let's go edit material here, let's go down into plastics, and let's make this out of ABS. I'm gonna say apply and close. And so now I've set myself up to save this document as a new template and I'm going to choose file, save as, and now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, I want to save this as a document template or a part template. So I choose part template from this list. And once I choose part template here, now I can browse to my C drive so I can go C and I can go into this uh, zero zero Toby's templates and I can save this as part dash mm dash abs 
So now, anytime I'm doing one of Too Tall Toby's speed modeling challenges, you know, I've got a template ready to go that's made out of ABS. And I'm gonna choose Save, and then I'm gonna go over here to the, uh, the material in the tree. I'm gonna do a right mouse button, and I'm gonna choose Edit Material. I'm gonna change this to Steel, and to Plain Carbon Steel. And I'm gonna say Apply, and Close. And now I'm gonna say File, Save As. I'm gonna save this as a Part Template. So let's go down here to part template and I'm going to go to my C drive and to zero zero Toby's templates. And I'm going to save this as part MM dash plain carbon steel. And I'm going to say save. There we go. And then I'm going to change that material one more time. I'm going to say edit material and I'm going to change this material to aluminum. So aluminum and we'll do 1060 alloy and apply and close. And we're gonna go file, save as, and we're going to save this as a part template. We're gonna to go to our C drive, go to Toby's templates, and we're going to save this as part MM dash uh, aluminum. I'll just call it 1060 alloy. Part MM 1060 alloy and save. Now at this point, if we click new, we'll notice that we don't see any of those new templates and that's because we haven't added that new folder to our library. So the final step here is going to be to uh, choose the options, the little gear up top, go down to file locations. And then for the, the library of our document templates, we want to make sure that we choose add and we are going to add that new directory C Toby's templates. And we'll say select folder and OK. And let's try it again. New. And there we go. Now we've got Toby's templates. We've got part MM uh, 1060 alloy, part MM ABS, and part plain MM plain carbon steel. You can also change the way these are displayed. So if you want to make it a little bit easier to see your templates, that'll, that'll set you up pretty nicely. And so now at this point, I could uh, I could just cancel here and I could start making additional changes, which the additional change is going to be that I'm gonna choose the little gear here. I'm gonna to go to document properties and I'm gonna change my units to IPS and then my decimal setting here to three place precision. And once I do that, I can choose okay. And now I can do file, save as. I'm gonna save this as a part template. And this is gonna go into my C drive in Toby's templates. And this is gonna be called part dash IPS or part inch. You could also do inch. And that's gonna be the 1060 alloy version of the template. I'm gonna say save. And then I'm gonna change this material. So I'll say edit material and I'll go into steel, plain carbon steel, apply and close. And now I'm gonna say file, save as part template. And I'm gonna save this as a uh, part template in my C drive here under Toby's templates. And this is gonna be called part inch plain carbon steel. And then finally, I'm going to right mouse button over here on the material, say edit material. And I'm gonna change this back to plastic and ABS. And we're going to file, save as, and we're gonna save this as a template. Once again, part template, go to our C drive, Go to Toby's templates and we're going to save this as part inch dash ABS. And now, anytime we have to do one of Two Tall Toby's speed modeling challenges, we can just click new. And we can see here that we can choose part inch, part inch, part inch, part millimeter, part millimeter, part millimeter, 1060 alloy, ABS, plain carbon steel, 1060 alloy, ABS, plain carbon steel. And like I said in the beginning, you know, this is something that you can use when you're doing Too Tall Toby speed modeling challenges. This is something that you can use when you're doing the tournament. But hopefully this is also something that you can use at your actual job to save time and to get started with your modeling a little bit faster. So let me know down in the comments. Did you learn anything new from this video? Do you have any questions for me? Of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.